we were on the same page, Pastor Tony and I. And, um, you know, Mark 3.24 says, if a kingdom divided against itself, yeah. that, cannot, uh, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And I just want to share a couple of verses this morning and then pray real quick. Because my heart is relationship. And the issue is that it starts with us pastors. Yeah. And um, I, I love pastors. I love church. I love people. But the situation is that us pastors have got to become more transparent. Yeah. We've got to become more honest and open with not only each other but our parishioners. We've got to be more willing to cross racial boundaries. We've got to be willing to not be afraid of getting together as churches and afraid of our other members leaving our churches because God brought them, not us. It's not our beautiful words. It's not our worship. It's, 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 it, it, it's not our kids program, but it's the power of God that brings people to church. The Bible says that if I be lifted up, Christ, I will draw all men unto me. So we've got to open up our eyes as pastors, as fathers, as leaders of these communities and take advantage of what God has for us in this city. I believe that revival is going to start in Las Vegas. I believe that revival is going to be known all over the world from this city. But we've got to start being kingdom minded and not self minded. Amen. Amen. So just some quick verses here. Uh, 1 Corinthians 1.10 says, But I urge and entreat you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you be in perfect harmony and full agreement in what you say, and that there be no dissensions or factions or divisions among you, that you be in perfect uni perfectly united in your common understanding and in your opinions and judgments. Ephesians 4.1 says, Therefore I, a prisoner serving the Lord, beg you, lead you, to a life worthy of your calling, for you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each, with each other. Make an allowances for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the spirit, bonding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body, one spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God and Father who is over all and in all and living through all. So my heart right now is that our desire is not to be right, but to seek relationship. Not to be first, but to be faithful. Not to be in competition, but in collaboration. Our one focus is to cry out for man's ways, but God's will. We should be hungry for your word humble for your correction, and holy in your presence. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this morning, that as we leave here, Lord, that we open up our hearts to you, that we rebuke this dissension, we bring about collaboration, we, we open up in love, and we allow you and your spirit and your grace to fuse us together as a people, as your children, to go out and reach the world with Jesus. Father, we thank you, and we give you all honor and glory, Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. amen.